Hello everyone, greetings to one and all. In today's episode of debugging series, we are going to look into the details of debugging function modules. Function modules are another SAP ABAP development object that is used across many of the developments and enhancements. They play a vital role in processing a certain logic which is needed for our execution. And the requirement of those function modules will always be the inputs from us and it will process the inputs and it will give us the output. There are certain instances where we may have to understand the logical executioning of the function module in order to prepare our program accordingly. So debugging plays a vital role in function modules as well. However, our debugger tool has a special feature for the function module debugging. So before I explain the details of those, I will show you a demo program through which we can reach out to the function module. Few theoretical part for you. Function modules are used often in many of the programs and enhancements. Often it's important to understand the application of the FM, which is function module. Debugging the function modules gives us a better clarity on its significance. Debugger tool has separate feature to handle function modules, which we are going to see in some time. And what is that special feature? We can afford to save the input for the function module as a variant and use it later for independent debugging. So this saving the function module inputs as a variant is a feature that's available in the debugging tool itself. And that's what we are going to see in our demo. So I have written a sample program. So in the sample program, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to input a few, I mean, inputs one and input two, and based upon the radio button that you select, you will be displayed with the relevant value. Now, how I'm executing this logic? This logic is executed as form of the function module Z test underscore G -A -J -U -L 23. So this is the function module that is going to be used to execute our logic. Okay. So what we are going to do is understanding the logic executioning that's happening inside this function module. I have written some simple programs, uh, I have written some simple logics because the idea behind this session is making you understand about the debugging tool feature that's available for function module rather than the function module itself. So I have kept the code uh, logic inside this function module to a bare minimum. Like it's just based upon the operator that you feed in, it will do the relevant operations, that's it. But in case in case of a regular uh, scenario or in other words, in case of a normal uh, production scenario, the logic that's written inside a function module will be huge. When I say a function module, BAPIs are also part of it. So the logic will be huge. So when you are debugging, you may encounter a scenario where a certain value for a particular variable is getting filled out of function module. But in that case, instead of staying in the same debugger tool, you may prefer to choose the debugging uh, of the function module independently. This particular session is going to address that independent FM module debugging and how the debugger tool is facilitating the same. Okay, let's not waste any further time. I'll just execute this function module. I'm providing an input of input one and I'm providing an input of uh, six to the input two. I prefer the addition operation now and I click on execute. Now, if you see here, my debugger uh, tool got triggered. Now, again, if you have if you need the basics of debugging, I recommend you to go through the previous videos of the same uh, series where I have explained in detail about the basics of the debugging. So now here you see the function module is called and we have the variables P underscore P underscore P1 as 10, P underscore P2 as 6 and the GV operator is A, which is addition. And the result as of now is, I mean, it's space. Basically, the operation is not yet carried out. Now, by pressing F5, I get into the function module. Now, after pressing F5, you see all these variables become irrelevant because they are all part of the program. They are all not part of the function module. So, in the function module, the referent variables are i underscore VBL1, i underscore VBL2, i o underscore VBL3. So, these are the relevant variables and i underscore operator. So, if you want to match the program variables with this FM variables, you see p underscore p1 is equal to i underscore VBL1. P underscore P2 is I underscore VBL2 and GV underscore result is VBL3 and GV operator is nothing but equal to I underscore operator. Okay. So now what the feature that I was talking about is once you are inside a function module, if you click on this particular services of the tool icon, when you click on this, you get an option to save parameters as test data. 
so what the debugger tool is explicitly stating is that you know what you can afford to debug this function module independently but for that you want to know the inputs of the ex exact scenario that you are debugging now right so you can save the inputs that you have especially fed now as part of this execution by using a variant name so for that i click on this button it will ask me to fill some comment i am save i am just writing a value like saving underscore addition okay this is the variant name and i will save it that's it now let me complete the execution now i'll go to the se 37 t code which is my function module t code i'll execute it here in the test data variant i will have that saving underscore addition variant i double click that so all the values that was populated during the execution in my debugger tool gets saved as a variant here it's it, it, it gets saved as a test data directory so the test data in short has been transferred from the debugger tool onto your SC37 transaction window. So from here you can do the normal debugging. I will also cover, uh, I mean I have also covered the debugging process, the basics, everything in my previous uh, videos. In case of an FM uh, function module, the debugging has a separate explicit button. You don't have to trigger slash h or you don't have to place any breakpoint explicitly in a function module all you have to do is click on the debugging button here and the debugger tool automatically gets triggered now the inputs i have not fed anything i took the inputs that has been part of my actual execution from the debugger tool and from here i can proceed to debug using my basic debugging skills and i can understand what's the result and i will get a clarity of the logic that's present inside the function module so i hope you have a clarity about debugging a function module wherein you don't need an explicit breakpoint or you don't need an explicit uh, slash h command to trigger the breakpoint at the same time whenever a function module is used inside an actual program if you want to debug the function module you can do it independently by passing on the values that are part of the actual execution on to this fm through the test data directory and you can debug it independently so in the next videos i'll come up with more important key concepts of the debugging tool thank you all for the time peace and blessings to everyone